Aloha, this is the Green Lightning Mr. T. And we're back in deep in Forever Woods because I forgot or couldn't find it. And I found it. Um, it's in the mushroom area. Um, hold on a sec. Now there's another set of mushrooms that are differently positioned and slightly different if you do it. They won't last quite a while. Now this one of the mushrooms is off to the side, plus these are a lot shorter. So this is the other secret. Not as indistinguishable uh, from that secret with the rock, which is very specific. Now, oh, you do. As you can see already, this area looks incredibly different because there's like a hive. And you can shake the tree! Ouch. We have new enemies! And he missed. Alright. Now these are bizarre. Now they have an attack power of six. Because these are enemies you face a lot later in the game. As long as you don't get first strike on these guys, you can nearly do well. Oh, here's a small swarm! Dang it. Oh, I'm not doing very well at all. I didn't want to leave the forest and go heal because that means all the enemies would have respawned. So, yeah. As you can see, they give us a huge amount of star points. We weren't even supposed to be facing these guys here. Uh, is there any fuzzies around here? Need to fight. Nope. Can't even see. I was in behind the tree somehow. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was. Yep. 
and it actually is four uh, directions. So it's like north, east, west, and south, and all that crazy nonsense. Alright, so now back to uh, where we're supposed to be where we're supposed to be going. We should definitely kept them waiting, I guess. Gumbaru in that area. I do want to show off stuff, so I shall see that. See if I can remember my way backwards. Oh, so far, so good. Come on. Yeah! That's how many towns I've gone through looking for the secret. Just letting you know. Yeah, it took some time. It took me some time to find it. And I noticed those dang mushrooms. Whoa! Any anyway. rate. Look, I'm sick of this forest. Alright, let's get out of here. <sighs> I was about to sneeze or something. Disappointing. I don't care how many important things are hidden in this fortress. I can't spend another instant in the freaky place. Look, I know I saw a beehive. Let's make the beehive a landmark, okay? In the landmark, it sure is. through this forest without knowing you can click on something so invigorating. Anyways, back to the mansion. Over here we have a vault room. Yes, I didn't know what that was, it's just I've hit it so many times. Not that I really use it. I like how I saw the owl in the background hooting. And the wolf, you know, they do. They keep the sound effects in the background, just not the music. Welcome, sirs! Welcome, oh, excuse me. Welcome, sirs and madam. I'm pleased you made it through the forever forest. My master awaits you in the room highest up in this lovely mansion. Let's go to the third floor. Where will you hear all the news of the star spirits? I'll see you there. I hope I'll refilling when I didn't need to. So, save and we'll head on in, because we're still cooking in time. What a magnificent mansion! 
being haunted must hurt the real estate value, though. <laughs> I like the old-fashioned yet eerie style. The chandelier and display case look like they're valuable antiques. Even the sofa in the foyer looks like it's pricey, even though it's a bit worn. I love antiques! I wouldn't mind taking a good look at these things. Well, that's pretty interesting, for once. Will you talk about things? Will you talk about this? Anything? Are you gonna talk about this? Nope, he's not gonna talk about anything. So, let's start. Ooh! Ah! I, knew, I was just thinking that one of these doors was gonna do that, and I wasn't prepared yet. I was going to be prepared if it wasn't this door, though. This room doesn't have a lot of space. It's still a shame to use it for storage. That pot in those wood wooden boxes looks suspicious. There's always a weakened spot on the floor. Oh, there's also a weakened spot on the floor. Look, under the chandelier. Hey, check it out. We are old rocking chair. These things rule. It rocks back and forth when you sit on it. I love napping in these. Does anything happen? I don't think so. It would be interesting if I there was something I never knew about. I feel like you keep rocking in the chair, something would happen. And this pot. I do this every game. By the way, everything's the same when you do this. You only do a jump. Would have been cool though if they made it so that you go faster if you hold like B or something. So if you leave the room or go back in the pot, you'll change back to normal. What a shame. That would have been awesome if they made that a game mechanic where you had to go someplace real small and the... I wish they had done that. Oh, maybe it's the first door you open that it does that. Cause I remembered, I thought it was thinking it was upstairs that it does that. Hey, that strange contraption at the back of the room is a phonograph. You know, a machine for listening to records. Have you seen any records around here? I wouldn't mind doing a little adventuring to the timeless classic Mario's theme. Wow. And over here we have... Fireplace. Very good. <coughs> Anyways... It's a photograph. It would be nice if there were records to play. And here we have... This boo. Is guarding a treasure chest. Bo told him to. Who's Bo? I guess. She must be pretty scared to command such obedience. So you don't think that bo boss... Oh. Boos have the funniest expressions. They probably do. That would not surprise me. Yep, it's the first door it opens. I've tried all the doors. Oh, I was not ready for that. Anyways, wow, what a gorgeous chandelier. If they actually cleaned it, it would brighten up the place. I don't think they want, bows want a brightened up chandelier. Ah! That will actually take health though, so. Take your last and then go. I like how your partner is like, oh, I'm just gonna get out of the way, and you're like, Oh, oh, it's moving! Instead of just getting out of the way. Anyway, right? Now... Mario, you have come! Do you want this record? You must guess who holds it! Uh, 
the lady bow will be very angry if you let him get it too easily, fellow boobs. Do your best, like we practiced. Which is basically just looking normal. Hey, hey, booze and booze. Who's got it? Juice, juice. Man, it's hard to read and pay attention to which boo is I got it at the same time. Now, I will say this. Wait until the boo is going to come around to the left side of the screen. So he doesn't get off screen and then you're like, oh, wait, I can't see him. No! Boo-hoo! You, you guessed right! Go on, take this! No, Boo! Lady Bow's gonna be really gonna flip out on us. And I like this part. <laughs> so this is a bit of a puzzle here. A puzzle that I didn't solve for a long time when I was little. I think I only solved it when I was older. Eh, medium range. Maybe in my teens, I guess. Technically, I'm still in my teens, though. Not that old. Have I ever talked to this guy? Nope. I am so bored! Boo Ord! I know the lady boo old and ready to stay here, but for how long? So, we can now use the record. Tap A to play the record. You gotta have rhythm. Don't press it too fast or too slow. This part I did not read. I didn't read when I was little. So, it took me forever. So, I would always, like, mash it, like, mad to get it. Because I thought I was supposed to fill up the bar. Which I can now do very easily, which I cannot do then. Oh, I love this thing. So we want to do that to distract them, and then you... I could have talked to him while he was dancing. I should have done that. Oh well. You got the weight! A very heavy weight. How can you use this? Oh no! Lady Bo gave me one job! The guard's treasure chest. She's gonna punish me so bad if she finds out about this. Oh, well, I still may be okay. <laughs> It's not like you can get anywhere without knowing how to use that weight. Now the last thing we have over here is this. This guy will shake. And I'm did mean guy. Hi! Did I startle you? You want to go up to the third floor, don't you? Well, I'm afraid you'll have to go find whatever's missing from this frame. If you manage to find it, I'll let you go upstairs. Moo <laughs> ha was such a harsh boo testing her guests like this? So now you know that she's actually testing us. Seeing if you can get up to the third floor. Now this part is the part that took me forever to figure out. I fr discovered this by accident on another someone else's file. Because I was just fooling around. Like, I was just, I was thinking of just jumping on the couch. And it happened! It took me forever to figure this out. And I was doing it on a file that had already completed this part. 
So I knew that you had to do the chandelier. I just didn't know how to get to the chandelier. So that's what it does. And this is what happens if you get on it without the chandelier. They usually fall down and then you, he uh, gets the dust, dust off his pants. So shall we continue a bit more or shall we end it? I see that's good enough for now. So, this, in this part, we went ahead and got started on the blue house and got that thing in the woods that I forgot. Or I didn't, I didn't forget it, I just couldn't find it. I forgot where it was. At any rate, this has been the Green Lightning Mr. T. And to you, I say, aloha.